Welcome back, everybody. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the formula to get everything that you need, want, and desire. I'm going to show you how to step up. Welcome to this edition of Peak, Peak Performers, Performers Podcast. Podcast with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to, to become, become a peak, peak performer, performer in any area, area of, of your, your life, life or business. Thor Conklin here. We give you the tricks, the tips, the tools, the strategy, the technology, and the psychology peak performers use in order to get more done and execute at the highest level. If you know what to do but struggle with getting it all done or simply want to raise your game to the next level, this podcast is for you. Sit back and enjoy. Hopefully, you're familiar with my ultimate success map that takes you through the process of figuring out what you want all the way to the point where you actually get it. Now, this is going to drill a little bit deeper, and I wanted to give you these actual steps. So, step up. That's it. That's all you got to do is step up. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let's take the letters. S. In order to get what you want, you need the skills. Right? So, what do you do? You take a course, go to a seminar, you read up on it, and you start to hone these skills. But are skills enough? No. Not at all. I mean, think about it. If you had all the skills in the world but never got out of bed, what good is it? You're not going to go anywhere. Well, I know. I just need the tools, right? If I was a carpenter and I had the skills, well, I just need a hammer, right? I need a saw. I need some nails. I need, I need the tools in order to build my project. Well, if you have the skills and the tools, is that enough? No. Go back to my example earlier. If you got the skills, you got the tools, but you don't get out of bed, it doesn't matter. Well, Thor, I know now what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm going to get out of bed. I've got the skills. I got the tools. E is for effort. I just need to put in a lot of effort. I've got the skills. I've got the tools. And I just need to put in a lot of effort. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. What if I was going to build a house? I had the skills. I had the tools. And now I was going to put in the effort. So, 8 o'clock in the morning, I get out of bed, got my tools, head over to the job site, grab a piece of wood, grab a hammer, grab a nail, and drive that nail into that wood. And then I knock off for the rest of the day, the rest of the week. I put in the effort, but what was missing? Ah, I know. I've got to be persistent, right? Not only do I need to have the skills, the tools, the effort, and I've got to be persistent, that will be the recipe for success. Well, I think you know where this is going. That's not enough, right? So now you're working all day and you're driving those nails. You're putting up that frame. Is that enough for success? No. Well, I know I've got to have a strong underlying reason why I'm doing this right? That's going to carry me through. I need that big why, that underlying reason. And if I had that, then I've got everything that I need, right? Nope. So I've got a huge why. I want to build this house. I've got the skills. I've got the tools. I've got the persistence. But I go to raise the rafters. And guess what? I can't do that by myself. What am I going to do? Oh, I know. I'm missing one more piece. You said it was step up. I'm missing the P. People. I need people around me. I need help. I need my team. That's what I need. That's the missing piece. Now, all I have to do is step up with all six of these pieces, and that's it. I've got it solved. I've got my recipe. Is that enough? Do I have everything? Well, we're missing one more thing. Well, you told me the formula was step up. We've gone through all the letters. You told me what they are. I've got everything. What am I missing? There's one more piece to the equation, and that's you. Or in my case, it's me. It's I. Wow. What does the I stand for? The I stands for interference. We can have the skills. We can have the tools. We can have a team. We can have the underlying reason why, but... Somewhere along the way, somewhere, 
there's interference. And many times, that interference is invisible. We don't even see it. We feel it. We know it's there. But something just isn't working right. Something's holding us back. Have you ever gotten in your car, and sometimes it's not your car, a rental car, or somebody else's car, and you're driving, and it's like, man, this thing's just not going. What's what's going on? I feel like I'm getting pulled back. And you drive, and all of a sudden you start to smell this weird smell. It's like, what is, what is that? And then all of a sudden you look down on the dashboard, and there's a light. And you're like, what's that light? You look a little closer, and it says brake. Like, oh, I've been driving with the emergency brake on. Now, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I have a couple times, not in my car, but in somebody else's car, and I've been driving the whole time, and when I wanted to go faster, I just applied more gas, but something was holding me back, and literally, I was burning the brakes out. I was being held back, but I didn't know it at the time. Fortunately, I smelled the, uh, the burning brakes, and I was able to remedy the situation. Many of you know that I'm also a, uh, a triathlete, and a triathlon is a swim, it's a bike, and it's a run. I was in one particular race, well, about two years ago, and I had finished the swim. I actually did uh, quite well in the swim, came out of the water, got on my bike, and it was a, I think it was a 12-mile uh, a bike. It was a, a shorter uh, triathlon, and I'm usually really, really good on the bike. And this particular race, I'm getting passed left and right. And I'm changing gears and I'm pumping harder. And I'm like, I'm in good shape. I should be going faster. And I don't know what it was. And there was, you know, nothing I could do at that time. I just figured I'd, something was off that day. So I finished the, uh, the, the bike piece. Then I put on my running shoes and I go out for the run. I finished the triathlon and I come back. And I'm taking my bike back to the car. And I'm going to roll the bike. And it's not rolling. You know, the back tire is, is being held up. I'm like, that's weird. What's going on? And I look, and the brake on the back tire is actually engaged. I'm like, that's weird. how could that happen? Well, in a triathlon, you have to put a number on your body. You, you actually put it on with a marker. You have it on your helmet. Um, you wear a bib that has your number, but also your bike has to have a number on it. And that number usually goes on the frame. And when I put the number on, I basically caught the brake line. And as a result of pulling on the brake line, it engaged my back brake. I did my 12 mile bike race with my back brake engaged. I'm like, how stupid is that? But I didn't see it. I didn't know it. I didn't know what was going on at the time. I could see the results, but I didn't know what was wrong. So let's go back and look at an example. Picture a building made of complete steel. Top, bottom, floor, a ceiling. Everything is steel. There's no door, and it's thick steel. It's at least six inches thick of solid iron, solid steel. But there's one window. And it's a six by six window. Really easy to get in, right at ground floor. And on the other side of that window is everything that you want, need, desire, whether it be a relationship, million dollars, billion dollars, a car, health, fitness, anything that you want and desire is right on the other side of this window. All you need to do is break this window, walk in and claim it for yourself. It's yours, but you've got to figure a way to get in. Well, do you have the skills to break the window? Well, hopefully so. So what are you trying to do? Break it with your hand? Well, you got to be careful, right? It's glass. So let's just kind of wrap our hand up in a uh, towel and see if we can punch through the window. That's not working. So what do you do? You go out and you buy a hammer. You start banging on the window. Still nothing. So then you say, look, maybe it's my tools. Let me go get a bigger hammer. Let me go get two hammers. Let me go get a sledgehammer. Okay, let me get a cutting torch. Nothing is working. 
but you go out and you buy tool after tool after tool, and no tool is helping you get through this window. You have no idea why. And you say to yourself, I know I just don't have the right tool. Has this ever happened to you in your life or in your business? You figure, hey, I just need better skills. Maybe I'm not swinging the hammer the right way. Maybe there's a different way of doing it. And you buy this course or go to this seminar. And then finally you see on the internet for $99, Hammer Swinging 101. Guaranteed to make you the best hammer swinger in the world. You're like, this is it. This will fix it. But it doesn't. So then you say, okay, maybe my effort's not strong enough. I'm just going to try harder. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to work longer. Maybe if I bang on this window 80 hours a week, just like my job, just like my business, maybe that'll make it happen. Maybe that's what's happening. I'm just not spending enough time. I'm not putting in enough effort. And you work harder and you work harder. And still you can't break the window. Like I know, I just haven't been doing it long enough. I've been at it for a week. But if I do this for the next 18 years, I know I can break through that window. And you go after it every single day. Again and again and again. And you try harder and harder. And you get more tools, you get more skills, and still you're not making any progress at all. And it's just a window. And you're starting to doubt yourself now. What is wrong with me? Why can't I do this? They go, okay, I know what's wrong. My underlying reason, my reason why isn't strong enough. So I'm just going to meditate and I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to get a bigger and bigger reason why I want to break through this window. Still isn't working. And then finally you go, I know. There was one more step. Thor told me there was one more step. It was step up. The P. The P. What's the P? Oh, yes. I know. People. All I need to do is get more people here. If I just have more people around me, I've got a bigger team. That will make this work. I will finally get my outcome. So what do you do? You go out and you hire people. He said, hey, come on, we need to break through this window. Come join me. And then 80 hours a week, you and the entire team are banging on this window. You've got the tools, you've got the tricks, you've got the techniques, you've got the skills, you've got the effort, you've got the reason why. But it still isn't working. Why? We're missing the last factor, I. Because it's I step up. And the I is not me. It's not you. It's called interference. Those things that get in our way, those things we don't even see sometimes. So in our scenario, what's going on here? Why can't we break through this window? Some of you will take the matter into your own hands and really amp this thing up. You've tried everything. Now what is the next solution? Well, bring in some C4. Let's just blow this thing up. You set the explosives, stand back, and boom. Building's gone. The window's gone. But everything inside is also gone. Everything that you wanted, desired, is gone. Because you blew it up. Has there been a time in your life where you've taken something and you wanted it so bad, but all you did was ended up blowing it up, destroying it. Yes, you removed the obstacle, but you also removed and eliminated everything that you wanted. Maybe you don't have any explosives. Let's douse some gasoline on it and just burn it to the ground. Same result. I know I've been guilty of burning stuff to the ground blowing things up, not a very good strategy. But we do it sometimes, just out of pure frustration. You want to win so bad. I want this to work. But there's a better way. So you're standing there looking at this glass, wondering what to do. And this old man comes by. He's looking at you and looking at your team, trying to figure out what you're all doing there. 
And as he gets a little closer, he hands you a screwdriver. And he points out the four screws at the corner of his glass. And he suggests that you simply remove the screws and see if that works. And you do. And to your surprise, this piece of glass that you've been trying to get through the entire time was actually four inches of bulletproof glass. Tamper-proof glass. But you didn't see it. It looked like glass. It felt like glass. But it wasn't. It wasn't ordinary glass. It was shatterproof, breakproof, bulletproof. And everything that you tried to get through it wasn't going to work. The obstacle couldn't be seen. Someone else needed to point it out. Now, I want to make this a little bit more simple for you. But hopefully, you'll never forget the step up or I step up model. The only thing that keeps you from your goals, your outcomes, your results, and everything that you need is one thing. It's the obstacles. It's the interferences. It's the roadblocks. And as much as you spend time and energy and effort in trying to do all the other things that are important, don't get me wrong. Look, is it important to have skills? Yes. Effort? Yes. Having a team around you? Absolutely. All of those things make absolute sense and you need them, but they're not enough. You must remove the obstacles. And the way to go further faster isn't to increase the effort, but to let go of the break. Remove the obstacles. So an easy way to remember this is OPI. Your outcome equals your potential minus the interference. We all know our potentials are unlimited. So that one we're not going to change. The only thing you need to change in your life is figure out what are your obstacles. Identify them and eliminate them. Two days ago, I actually decided to eliminate cable TV. Now, I didn't watch a lot of TV, but I may have watched four hours a week. Well, four hours a week times 52 weeks, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot of time I could be doing something else, spending my time with those that I love, spending my time giving you content, spending my time helping others. And I made that decision. At the end of each day, I asked myself a series of questions. The first is, what went well today? And then I celebrate those wins. And it could be small wins. Then I address what didn't go well today. Next question is, what changes do I need to make for tomorrow? And my last question, what is getting in the way? What is getting in the way of me becoming the man that I'm meant to be? What's getting in the way of me delivering the message that I was born to give? What is getting in the way of me serving others to the highest level? It takes courage to ask these questions, and it takes courage to actually act on the answers that you receive. But I promise you, when you eliminate the obstructions, the interference, the roadblocks, man, that's when life gets beautiful. Because you're no longer struggling and pushing and straining. Life just starts to flow. So I'm a big, big proponent about getting bigger, better, stronger. But do it smart. Don't try to force yourself to overcome things. Eliminate the other things that don't support you. And if you're having trouble figuring out what's in your way because you just can't see it, like most of us, Drop me a line. Send me a note. I would love to connect with you. And if I can help remove that obstacle, all the better. Simply just drop me a line at info at thorconklin.com. I'll email you back, and if we need to, we'll get on the phone. But don't spend any more time struggling, pushing harder, 
eliminate the obstacle, eliminate the interference. I wish you the very best, and I look forward to connecting with you again. Have an absolutely awesome day. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already done so, please head over to iTunes and subscribe to the show. Also, please share this with family, friends, coworkers, or anyone that could benefit from this information. To make it very easy to share these episodes, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin, click on the episode that you want to share, and you can post it to your timeline. You just might be helping one of your friends on Facebook by sharing it on your page. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is thorconklin.com. The email is info at Thor Conklin. While at the website, please sign up for our weekly newsletter with additional tricks, tips, tools, and psychology on how to be a peak performer. Remember, these episodes are anywhere between 6 and 35 minutes and are meant to be consumed during dot time doing other things. Until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day.